Hello my friends, I'm Dr. Bree, and today I want to talk about pelvic floor issues. You have them and you want to fix them. So we are going to get right into that, but I want to share with you uh, really quickly, if you look over there on my, kind of propped up against my window, is my YouTube Creator Award for reaching 100,000 subscribers, and I am so honored for this. And I have to say, uh, one of the big reasons why my channel reached 100,000 subscribers after a long period of just sort of nothing happening is when I started talking on my channel about pelvic floor dysfunction and pelvic floor issues, people started seeing this and realizing, oh my gosh, someone's talking about this and there are things I can do to help and I'm not the only one who has this. And so I'm really, really um, grateful for you who are watching and, and you, the viewers who may be um, coming to my channel because you're giving me purpose. This is what I love to talk about. These are the people, you are the people I love to help. People who may have some kind of issue that they feel like is kind of embarrassing or kind of weird and they don't know where to go for help. This is actually what I love to hook people up with. So today in our video, I wanna share this information is for women and men, but I'm going to be um, giving you a little teaser of a program that's specifically for men at the end, okay? So stay tuned for that. But first, this is just kind of general information I'm gonna give you um, because a lot of the viewers to my channel, like I said, are here because they have some kind of pelvic floor issues. They wanna know more about them and how to fix them. So here are the four steps that you will really need to do uh, to, to focus on your pelvic floor concerns. So the first step is actually kind of a pre-step. So I have four steps, but the first one is really a pre-step, and that is to contact a pelvic floor physical therapist. A lot of people don't even know that this is a specialty, but it is. There is an entire field of physical therapy called pelvic floor physical therapy or women's health physical therapy, and it's for women and men. We all have a pelvic floor, and this area can get tight and tense and painful, or on the opposite side of the spectrum, it can be uncoordinated or very weak and lax, etc. So there's lots that can go wrong in this very important part of the body, which is really the foundation of our core. Thus, there is an entire field dedicated to it. So search out a women's health physical therapist, and I will put a link to one resource that is a physical therapist locator that you can use. Uh, but there are, you know, you can always do just a basic Google search online, or you can ask around in your area and try to find some recommendations. So please do contact a women's health physical therapist or a pelvic floor physical therapist to get an individualized diagnosis and treatment plan. It's also great to see a PT because they can do manual therapy treatments, hands-on treatments with you to give you the best results. But in the meantime, while you're waiting for your first women's health physical therapy appointment or while you're researching where to go, and in the off chance that you don't have access to a women's health physical therapist, then there are some things that you can do on your own that will help. So step one is a really simple one. It's to breathe deeply. So breathing deeply has been clinically studied and shown to lower the nervous system response. When we have pelvic floor dysfunction of any kind, but especially pain, tension, tightness, etc., you are amped up. And deep breathing down into your pelvic floor actually has been shown to really lower that nervous system response. And that's going to help just relax everything in your body, lower levels of inflammation, and also help you sleep better at night. So sleep is essential for all sorts of health processes in our body. A lot of the um, cellular cleanup that happens, cellular house cleaning, happens when we're sleeping, and some also happens when we're moving and exercising as well, but sleeping is key. Deep breathing, particularly slow, deep breathing, is going to be extremely helpful to help you get have a calmer day, but also get a better night's sleep. So that is step one. Breathe down into your pelvic floor, slow, deep breathing. Step two is you're gonna to wanna to clean up your diet. If you're eating a lot of processed uh, foods, I know we all know not to eat this stuff, but sometimes what we know doesn't always translate into reality. So if you find yourself eating a lot of the white stuff, white sugar, white breads, crackers, cookies, 
pastas, that kind of thing. Those are processed foods. They're bleached. They are uh, usually full of gluten, which many people, not all, but many people are sensitive to. So these things are highly inflammatory to the body. Cut them out. Your gut is a huge area that is, first of all, very closely related in proximity to your pelvic floor. So you want to be careful about your gut health. You also uh, need to realize that inflammation, if your gut is inflamed, that's going to be causing a lot of problems throughout your entire body. It can even cause problems with your mood and emotions. So cut out processed foods, super key. Number three, we need to think about movement. So our movement strategy is going to change depending on who you are and, and what your needs are. But let's take pelvic floor dysfunction in terms of pelvic pain, tension, tightness, something where the pelvic floor might actually be a little overactivated. This is actually really common even in people uh, who have conditions such as bladder leakage or pelvic organ prolapse. Those are often conditions where we think, well, you must be weak. You must be underactive in the pelvic floor, but many people are actually still overactive, overly tense in the pelvic floor. And so what we need to do is change our movement strategy possibly. So I'm speaking to all genders here, men and women, but I, I have found that a lot of men have actually reached out to me asking about their weightlifting programs. And this is something that if you are feeling pelvic pain, tension, and tightness, we might need to cut back on things such as heavy weightlifting, extreme sports, extreme anything that is going to cause a lot of kind of tension and tensing in the pelvic floor. Anything that's gonna cause you to feel like you need to kind of clench up your core is something that for now we wanna back off on. Now, that being said, I don't want you to think that I'm giving you a free card to just sit on the couch all day long or sit in your chair all day long. That in itself is very problematic for the pelvic floor as well. So you wanna find that, find that fine balance. And this might be a good time to change your movement strategy and for a time period, focus more on relaxation exercises. Even if you are a person with a pelvic floor dysfunction type that is ultimately going to require some strengthening, it is essential to first learn how to relax and release the muscles. So to be honest with you, you really can't go wrong with beginning with pelvic floor release exercises. So I have an entire playlist on my YouTube channel dedicated to pelvic pain and tension and stretching exercises that will help open and release and relax this area. So I will link to these playlists in the video notes, but you can also go to bit.ly slash fem playlists. Make sure the F is capitalized and the P is capitalized, and that will take you to all my playlists all in one place. So the last step here is I want you to this is more of a mindset thing. I want you to refuse to give up on yourself. So this might sound really like soft and airy fairy, but it's true. It's really easy to just succumb to these issues or even to succumb to depression and anxiety if you have these issues. But just know that there is hope and there is help. And so please refuse to give up on yourself. Contact the physical therapist if that is available to you in your area. Do the steps that I've outlined uh, just previously Previously. And I want to give you one more option. This particular program is a labor of love. It's a brand new course that's actually, at the time of this recording, it's just being worked on. It's not done yet, and it's called Overcome Pelvic Pain. The current uh, version that we're working on is for men, but the information will ultimately, hopefully, be transitioned to a program for females as well, a separate program. The current rendition is called Overcome Pelvic Pain for Men, and I am so so excited about this labor of love that I am creating. I'm writing the program and creating the content and my friend and, uh, you know, partner in crime, Michael, he is a real overcomer of pelvic, pelvic floor dysfunction and pelvic pain. He actually was on my YouTube channel quite a while ago, and he did an interview with me that really resonated with a lot of men that watch my YouTube channel for pelvic floor dysfunction type issues, which is very common in both men and women. So Michael reached out to me and said, you know, we really need to create something that really uh, gives a step-by-step -step thought out guide for people who are going through pelvic pain and need a program to follow. And that is why we are creating Overcome Pelvic Pain for Men. And I'd like for you to watch this 
trailer, basically. It's an introduction to what we're doing. And over the next little bit, I'm going to be sharing some behind the scenes footage and more information about the program and how you can access it. But again, right now we're just creating it. It should be released. We anticipate in spring 2020. So please check out this trailer. And if you have pelvic floor dysfunction, just know that there is help. Refuse to give up on yourself. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Hodge and I've teamed up with Dr. Bree to create Overcome Pelvic Pain for Men. As my shirt says, I am an overcomer of pelvic floor dysfunction for men. You can actually watch an interview that I had with Dr. Bree two years ago in which we talked about my journey and I went through this for five years. Um, it was incredibly difficult, the darkest, most challenging part of my life to this point. I know what it's like. Um, I really didn't want to look at this again. I didn't want to open up the casket and ever potentially work in this area of, of pelvic floor dysfunction because I didn't want to think about it. Um, but there was something deep inside of me that really, really wanted to help. And because I've had a lot of men reach out to me since Dr. Bree and I made that interview. And because I had my email address on there, I wanted to help people sincerely because this is something that I went through for five years. If I could help someone overcome this much faster. I wanted to do that. And I've been able to do that for quite a few men just through emails and phone calls and things because I wanted the help, which was amazing. But I knew deep down that there is a way to you know, create a linear program, a 12-week healing system that you start from here and by the end of it, you're so much stronger, you're relaxed, you're, you're back to uh, what you could call a more normal life. So I didn't want to do this alone though. Dr. Bree is an expert in this area. And of course we had connected because I was using her, one of her stretching routines um, in my darkest period. I did it every single morning for like three months straight. And I had left a comment on that video. And because of that, we ended up connecting and making that interview, um, which is how we, we met each other. But she is very specialized in this area. So she's actually putting together the routines. It's a 12 week program. Every week there is a routine you do five to seven days for that week. Um, it's something you can do each morning, do that routine for that week. Uh, and there's 12 weeks, so there's 12 main routines you're going to be doing. There are also supplemental videos such as deep relaxation poses, mindset. Um, so there are other things that are going to help you each month during month one, two, and three. We're also going to talk about things like nutrition, body mechanics, body alignment. We're looking at the whole thing. This isn't just take a couple of pills and get better. Go and do this better. As you know, it doesn't work. I mean, you, you've had the runaround, I'm sure. I mean, I went to three different urologists. I got an MRI done. I got ultrasounds done. I, I took, you know, antibiotics. I was prescribed this and you have prostatitis, you have this. And I went to an acupuncturist and I went to different chiropractors and I did massage therapy. I went to natural healers that did some really weird stuff because I was doing whatever I could, you know, I was trying to do everything right. I was like, here's my checklist. I wake up in the morning. I'm going to take these supplements. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And if I just do all these things, I'm going to heal. And it still didn't work. It, it was so, so, so frustrating. Um, and, you know, totally was, you know, incredibly hard on my family, my wife, my kids. And um, as, as you would know, or anyone, um, it's very challenging, as you know. But the point is, we've created a very uh, powerful, well thought out system because I've gone through this myself and I overcame it. And I know you can do it too. And we know how, to, we know how you can do it. Uh, so I'm very excited to bring this to you with Dr. Bree. It's an amazing program. We're currently working on it. Um, I actually just filmed a routine here and I wanted to tell you about it. So if you haven't yet, please sign up for the list to be notified. Um, you can actually do that. There's a link here related to this video and that will allow you to be uh, up to date and know as soon as the program releases so that you can start doing this and actually take this healing journey, um, you know, hopefully once and for all, which is my goal. Again, my goal in creating this is like, I wanna help people get over this in let's say three or six months instead of three or six years. That, that's what we're, we're trying to do here. So uh, my blessings to you and thank you for, your, for being a part of this. And I really look forward to helping you in some way. Take care.